أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah has indeed heard and accepted the statement of the woman who pleads with you concerning her husband and carries a complaint in prayer to Allah. And Allah always hears the arguments between both sides among you, for Allah hears and sees all things. If any men among you divorce their wives by zihar, calling them mothers, they cannot be their mothers. None can be their mothers except those who gave them birth, and in fact, they use words both iniquitous and false. But truly Allah is one that blots out sins and forgives again and again. But those who divorce their wives by zihar then wish to go back on the words they uttered. It is ordained that such a one should free a slave before they touch each other. This are you admonished to perform, and Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. And if any has not the wherewithal, he should fast for two months consecutively before they touch each other. But, if any is unable to do so, he should feed sixty indigent ones. This, that you may show your faith in Allah and His Messenger. Those are limits set by Allah. For those who reject Him, there is a grievous penalty. Those who resist Allah and His Messenger will be humbled to dust, as were those before them. For we have already sent down clear signs and the unbelievers will have a humiliating penalty. On the day that Allah will raise them all up again and show them the truth and meaning of their conduct, Allah has reckoned its value, though they may have forgotten it, for Allah is witness to all things. See you not that Allah does know all that is in the heavens and on earth. There is not a secret consultation between three, but he makes the fourth among them nor between five, but he makes the sixth, nor between fewer nor more, but he is with them, wheresoever they be. In the end will he tell them the truth of their conduct, on the day of judgment, for Allah has full knowledge of all things. Turn you not your sight towards those who were forbidden secret counsels, yet revert to that which they were forbidden to do. And they hold secret counsels among themselves for iniquity and hostility and disobedience to the messenger. And when they come to you, they salute you, not as Allah salutes you, but in crooked ways. And they say to themselves, Why does not Allah punish us for our words? Enough for them is hell, in it will they burn, and evil is that destination. O you who believe, when you hold secret counsel, do it not for iniquity and hostility and disobedience to the messenger, but do it for righteousness and self-restraint and fear Allah, to whom you shall be brought back. Secret counsels are only inspired by the evil one in order that he may cause grief to the believers. But he cannot harm them in the least except as Allah permits and on Allah let the believers put their trust. O you who believe, when you are told to make room in the assemblies, spread out and make room. Ample room will Allah provide for you. And, when you are told to rise up, rise up. Allah will raise up to suitable ranks and degrees those of you who believe and who have been granted knowledge. And Allah is well acquainted with all you do. O you who believe, when you consult the messenger in private, spend something in charity before your private consultation. That will be best for you and most conducive to purity of conduct. But if you find not the wherewithal, Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Is it that you are afraid of spending sums in charity before your private consultation with him? If then you do not so, and Allah forgives you, then at least establish regular prayer, practice regular charity, and obey Allah and His Messenger, and Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. Turn you not your attention to those who turn in friendship to such as have the wrath of Allah upon them. They are neither of you nor of them 
and they swear to falsehood knowingly. Allah has prepared for them a severe penalty. Evil indeed are their deeds. They have made their oaths a screen for their misdeeds. Thus they obstruct men from the path of Allah. Therefore shall they have a humiliating penalty. Of no profit whatever to them, against Allah, will be their riches nor their sons. They will be companions of the fire, to dwell therein for a. One day will Allah raise them all up for judgment. Then will they swear to him, as they swear to you. And they think that they have something to stand upon. No, indeed, they are but liars. The evil one has got the better of them. So he has made them lose the remembrance of Allah. They are the party of the evil one. Truly, it is the party of the evil one that will perish. Those who resist Allah and his messenger will be among those most humiliated. Allah has decreed, It is I and my messengers who must prevail. For Allah is one full of strength, able to enforce his will. You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day. Loving those who resist Allah and his messenger, even though they were their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. For such he has written faith in their hearts and strengthened them with the spirit from himself. And he will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow to dwell therein forever. Allah will be well pleased with them and they with him. They are the party of Allah. Truly, it is the party of Allah that will achieve Felicity.